Okay, so, <laughs> how you doing, folks? Um, I'm here to talk about, uh, you know, the county supervisors, Pima County supervisors. Went ahead and uh, did you guys all a favor, everyone living in Pima County, because they went ahead and made the decision to invest in businesses. Now, really? The Pima County is going to invest in businesses? Yes, because, oh, don't pay attention to the fact that, you know, they've been claiming that they're out of money. They don't have money to pay people. They don't have money for anything. So, But they are going to spend $15 million on some property. They're going to buy it so they can lease it out to a business a Tucson locally owned business for uh, now I'm being serious <laughs> for people to take spacecrafts up in the in the air and then uh, they release this gondola they said a real luxury bubble and they float down from space all the way down to earth really that's what we're going to be involved in, private business, from the Pima County Supervisors. Tucson is a tourism center, but today Pima County Supervisors made a move to help Tucson become a space tourism center. County leaders approved a deal to spend about $15 million on a piece of land for a Tucson company preparing to use sophisticated balloons to carry tourists to the edge of space. The company will lease the land in a deal the county administrator says should make a profit for taxpayers in the long run. <laughs> I, I bet it just gets started there on the mere 15 million that they're gonna spend on land to, for the business that's gonna take people on space rides. Cool, all right, you know that's wonderful. Let's just make a whole bunch of them. Heck yeah, as long as we're just Printing the money with nothing to bag it up, just, yeah, we're gonna do is print some more. We're fine. I don't even have to print it, we'll just hit a button. I go, right. Billion dollars. All right. All right, so folks, check this out. See what you think here. I'll show you. Craig Smith has more on what people see as the highs and lows of the plan. Instead of a short, roaring ride on a rocket, Worldview will float tourists to the edge of space in a comfortable, pressurized gondola. They can stay up several hours, then a pilot will use a steerable parachute to bring them to Earth. The price per person is $75,000, but Worldview Enterprises says about half its business will be flying missions for NASA or the Defense Department. Some of those might be to provide communications for troops in areas where they currently don't have them, which is of course incredibly important for their safety and coordinated efforts. The company plans some projects with Raytheon. The agreement calls for the county to sell about $15 million in bonds to buy land near Raytheon. Worldview would build balloons and launch them there. Supervisors and business boosters hope Worldview would be the first of many businesses for a tech business park around Raytheon. Worldview wants to be operating from the site in about 10 months. Supervisor Ali Miller voted no after questioning the rush to push through the plan. At noon on Friday, folks, I was given the information to vote on this. And not even five days. And uh, and it appears, I'd like to know, who knew about this for nine, six to nine months? County Administrator Chuck Huckleberry says county staff worked in secrecy for competitive reasons. Tabor McCallum of Worldview says existing spaceports in Florida and New Mexico were bidding on Worldview's business. But because the company founders view Tucson as home, they were happy to bring the business here. Now, Tabor McCallum says Worldview has private investors and could have been financed by them alone, but he feels it's important for a community like Tucson to show the world it is willing to invest in businesses that look towards the future. Target date for that first tourist flight is the end of next year. This, this is wrong, man. This shit is wrong. <laughs> What's next, you know? When are you going to stand up, people? <laughs> I, I can't even believe this. So, they, Hey, they already did it. It done passed. You saw it. <laughs> so, welcome to Pima County, New World Order. What's next? You know, I'm glad you asked that. What's next? Because something I forgot to tell you about, folks, is the fact, did you know 
that they put a bill in the state of Arizona. They just put a bill in to get passed, which they're probably going to pass here, to not, that it's not legal to film police officers. Are you fucking kidding me? They're going to, Arizona's going to be one of the first places that, that does this bullshit? <laughs> I, let's, I think not. So, folks, you need to know they're going to pass a bill that's been put in to this, to already, the bill's been put in for the state of Arizona to not be able to legally film police officers. Okay? And, and not only is that wrong, but we're talking about not even on your own property will you be able to film police officers. So you're going to have fucking totally rampant police officers running wild with you can't film them because when they commit crimes and we film them, that's a problem. Damn, that's a problem. So get up and do something about it right now, folks. For my own people that watch my channel, because if you hadn't heard this somewhere else and I'm the first one that told you this, then get up and do something about it. Okay, folks? This is serious shit. So here, I was going to go and turn my, my Haskell Films Real News Tucson a little round and start doing more news stuff. Well, oh, apparently I'm not going to be able to because that's not going to be legal. Seriously? There you go. Arizona. <laughs> you see what they just did, Pima County. We're going to see about that. Let's get that fucking... No. No. <laughs> End this shit. Damn trail, people. Crazy Met the gentleman tonight who leads the Tucson group. He really believes it. He really does.